It turns out that extensive form games uh, with imperfect information give rise to uh, subtly different classes of strategies. And in particular, uh, one can make a distinction between uh, behavioral and mixed strategies. And they're fundamentally uh, very simple to explain. A mixed strategy is what uh, is defined in a completely standard way. We have a notion of a pure strategy, that is what each agent needs to do in all of their information sets, and a, uh, that is a unique action in each of those information sets. And a mixed strategy is simply a distribution over such pure strategies. A behavioral strategy is subtly different. It says, rather than start with pure strategies, it simply says in each information set, how should you, should you randomize? It may seem like the same thing, but it really isn't. And let's look at an example. So take this, take, take this tree. And here's an example of a uh, behavioral strategy. Um, player uh, one can do take action A with probability 0.5 and uh, G with uh, probability 0.3. What does that mean? That over here, they'll randomize 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and over here, they'll randomize 0 0.3, 0 0.7. That's a uh, behavioral strategy. <clears throat> Similarly, a mixed strategy here uh, would be something like the following. It says, let's look at two uh, pure strategies. For example, A, G, would be one pure strategy, and B, H, B, H, would be another pure strategy. And let's look at some convex combination, some mixture of the two, 0.6 of the one and 0.4 of the other. That would be a, uh, a mixed strategy. Now, although they are defined quite differently, one looking at the example might think that, well, one could really do the job of the other. And in fact, uh, you'd be correct in this case. In a very famous uh, result, a paper by Kuhn from 1953, it was shown that in certainly all these games of perfect information, um, uh, mixed strategies and behavioral strategies can emulate each other. There's no, the, uh, the, pay, the equilibria in mixed strategies uh, are outcome equivalent to the uh, equilibria in, uh, in behavioral strategies. In fact, it's not true only for games of perfect information. It's true for games of imperfect information, that is games with information sets where agents don't have full knowledge of where they are, so long as those games have what's called perfect recall. A game of imperfect information has perfect recall if, intuitively speaking, the agents um, have full recollection of their experience in the game. That means that wherever they are in each information set, they uh, know all the information sets they visited previously and all the actions they've taken. To see an example of a game without perfect recall, consider the following game. So player one has here uh, two nodes, this node and this node, and he cannot tell them apart. And you can think of it as basically sending two agents on your behalf to play, and uh, n neither the agents know which of the two uh, places it, uh, it landed in, uh, in particular what the other agents, uh, agent uh, did. Regardless of your interpretation, um, uh, uh, it's the case that in a behavioral, um, so, so first of all, what are the pure strategies in this case? Well, the pure strategies for agent one is simply uh, L, and one can, in this information set, either do L, or R. So you'd either do L, which means you'd go here depending on where you were, or do R and go here depending on where you were. 
This is for agent one. And for agent two, there are again two pure strategies. So um, what would be a mixed strategy equilibrium in this, in this game? Well, that turns out to be uh, fairly easy to analyze. And uh, we start with the observation that player two has a dominant strategy, play, play, play down. And so no matter what the other uh, uh, player does, player two is, be, uh, is no worse off and in general better off by playing uh, D rather than U. And so a uh, best response for uh, player one to player two playing uh, D is playing R because they would get a payoff of two rather than a payoff of one if they played L. And so LD is uh, in fact a, an equilibrium in this game. Notice the sort of the uh, ironic or disconcerting fact that you have a very high payoff that is actually not accessible under mixed strategies. And that will be a hint about what's going to happen with uh, pure strategy, uh, with uh, behavioral strategies. So what would an equilibrium uh, in behavioral strategies uh, look like here? Well, to start with, note that nothing has changed for player two. They still have a dominant strategy of D, and uh, let's assume they play that. What about player one? No, no. Player one has the opportunity to randomize afresh every time they find themselves in this information set. So let's assume they uh, randomize somehow uh, going left with probability P and right with probability 1 minus P. What, assuming player 2 plays D, what is their expected uh, payoff uh, given the parameter P? Well, with probability, with probability P times P, they will end up here and get a payoff of 1. So that's P squared times 1. With probability p times 1 minus p, they'll end up here and get a payoff of 100. So that's 100 times p times 1 minus p. With probability 1 minus p times 1, they will end up, because this uh, player, one is not ran player 2 is not randomizing here, with probability 1 minus p, they will end up here and get a payoff of 2. That's 2 times 1 minus p. So this is their overall payoff, assuming they randomize uh, P, and we simplify it to this expression. And we simply look at the maximum here of this, uh, uh, this, this equation, and the, um, uh, uh, and the uh, maximum uh, is arrived at this value. So with probability slightly less than half, they go left, and slightly more than half, they go right, that is player one. And so we end up with this equilibrium where uh, the players, the player one randomizes this way and player two plays uh, down with probability one. So we see that the uh, equilibrium with behavioral strategies is uh, when we have imperfect recall as we have here, can be dramatically different than the equilibria with uh, mixed strategies.